Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and I have a new album to share with you. Uh, this one is too chunky to call it a mini album I think. And um, it's uh, uh, eight pages in this album and uh, that's because I changed my mind a couple of times so uh, I added uh, or made uh, new pages and uh, then I went back to the original theme that is a family mini album and uh, it's a very colorful album and I've used a lot of uh, Lindy's sprays in here so I uh, again used uh, Tim Holtz config configurations box and um, I covered it with this uh, share from uh, Sherry ribbon from uh, Carlos and also the Peter trim that I uh, also colored to get it a more dark green and uh, I bind it with a large uh, rings here and uh, used um, this leopard uh, share ribbon to bind it with uh, I would have made it a twin album and bind it, uh, bind it for two albums, but I didn't have enough of, of uh, this, so I think I have to order some more so I can bind it in two, so it won't be so bulky. And uh, this is the back, and here I have used a flower from Annie. So I think it's so beautiful, and I used my Lindy's to color it, color it in. So, and I also have added some trees on the top on um, uh, uh, on some tags, and that idea I got from Annie as well. And she made the make uh, made the most um, amazing flower pot when she has some pull-ups with flowers. So thank you so much, Annie, for that idea. So now I will take uh, the album out of the box and um, I think I have to adjust my camera so I will be back in a minute. So here is the box and I give you a close up here and it's a uh, tropical travel look papers. And I have uh, done a lot of uh, fussy cutting, and here I also used a glossy accent. accent. And uh, I used the cover paper in the bottom here because I uh, ran out of paper. And a little envelope, the tag inside. So, and I used some tree knobs for the feet. So now I will show you the album. And um, here's the front page and I created an aquarium with the sand and it's loose if you can see. And uh, the fishes I hang from uh, some thread so uh, they move. And uh, I also did a lot of fussy cutting here with the leaves. As you probably know, I love to fussy cut. So, uh, this is what it looks like in the front. And this uh, aquarium I made from acetate. So here is uh, the first page, and um, here is a little journaling book, you can write in and maybe take some photos inside. And here is the first uh, tree, and uh, it's a tag, and I used this 
clip I got from Angelina. Thank you so much. And I color in this uh, image with uh, my Lindis. And uh, the paper here, all uh, most of the papers in this album is uh, is copy paper. Uh, it's heavy weight, uh, 200 gram copy papers I used to uh, color it. And uh, in the back is another image that was on the clip, and a little tag inside here. It was so fun to uh, use all the beautiful colors from uh, Lindy's brace. And uh, my hands, they were green and red and <laughs> yellow. So, but I managed to get it off. And uh, here I created a flower and uh, I used an oval punch to make it. And some stamens in the middle here. And, um, Here's a little tag goes inside here, and another one on the top here. And this one is uh, from the paper. It's uh, this one, and I used my marker to um, um, draw the lines here in black. Uh, this marker, writer, sick pen. And uh, colored it with uh, Lindy's and uh, used uh, glossy accent on the top, or accent, I think it's called. And uh, it came so colorful out. I started with um, just color it like this, but then I, um, you don't see it so very well. So if you use your marker, you to get a more clear image, like so. And I use some, um, this is not Prima Bling, it's, um, ooh, I forget, I, I post it. And the next uh, page, it's a clip here for another tree. And I cut out this little uh, forgot to look up what this is called, but uh, you see it, I think. And another tag in here. I can get it loose. Oh, it's stuck here. Oh, it's in the clip. And uh, this opens. It's a Marianne design die. I've used it a lot before. And it's just uh, photo mats. And it closes with a magnet. And it's a beach uh, theme. So um, you have to have a bag for your bathing clothes. And it's just a little tag inside here for journaling. This goes back in here. And I also made some film strips uh, through the album with uh, acetate behind. And here is another one for photo. And this is an EK Success punch. It's a uh, three layered. And I really love this punch. And another for journaling or photo behind here. The next page. <coughs> There's another tree. Another tag. And a tag inside here. And also a plain one for photos. Stuck inside here. And uh, the travel bag with some tags inside and I can journal or put a photo here. It's 
uh, suitcase it's called. And this is a stamping up punch here. And uh, here is a map and a place for a photo behind. And uh, here is another photo I used Cynthia, Cynthia Lu Hu Bling from Carlos to create this uh, frame or a photo um, uh, strip. And uh, it's just for some photos and journaling. And this is also a EK success punch and a butterfly I got from Annie. Thank you so much, Annie. And here is uh, a tree that I also used uh, Lindis on. And uh, I will make a video after this uh, to show some different techniques and how I use my Lindis. And here is just a plain tag with a butterfly. And this is a Martha Stewart butterfly punch. And there is a tag with the Lindis. And this uh, closer I also um, use this uh, bling to make with a magnet here. So it opens like this. And um, here's another butterfly from the paper line. And another pack. So all you see here of um, uh, the grass and uh, tags and uh, trees I've used my lindis on. So I don't know how many battles I've <laughs> used of it. But it was really fun. And um, here is a stork and uh, some feathers here and uh, I will also um, um, it's hard to get uh, the right colors on um, on uh, these feathers so um, I've tried to spray them and they did it didn't work out but uh, I will show you how I uh, colored this uh, in the next uh, video so then you can uh, get a lot of colors on your feathers to make it match. And these are really colorful pages, turquoise. And um, here I used the clay that I made with a magnet behind. So I can place a photo behind here and it stays like that. And uh, behind here this black paper I used uh, my Lindis on. And another one behind here. With a stamp frame. Plain in the back. And uh, here is another one uh, of this uh, um, butterflies. That I um, used my Lindis on and uh, I didn't uh, use my marker first so I glossy accented it and uh, I didn't like it and then I took my marker over and I think it came great out. It's a tag inside here and uh, should open I think if I don't remember wrong <laughs> like so for photos. And here is a little booklet and I use some rose trim that I also colored to get the turquoise uh, color. Opens like this. Place for photos and some images in here. And here I cut this image out uh, three times. So it pops up to get some dimensional. And here is another film strip. And this is um, 
a gardenia I think from I Am Roses and some uh, leaves from Annie's shop and um, this is uh, three tones uh, leaves from Kalas and uh, this is another crystal flower from Kalas and also the trim here that I colored with uh, turquoise lindis And the next uh, page is a um, fish theme. And here is a tag. And I popped this fish up and a glossy accent I sent it. So in the back. And here is a place for a photo. And um, a fish I used um, also Lindy's on and uh, Glossy Ascent. Some plain tags here. And this is uh, Spellbinders die. And uh, this punch for the grass here it's uh, from um, Martha Stewart. And this is a fish nate. Uh, net here I created from uh, when we buy in, uh, onions here in Norway they come with a net and I painted it black. And this is some uh, crystals, uh, um, iridescent crystals from Kalas. They come on a string but I cut it off. And this fish star I had in my stash. Um, take this out first. Beautiful image playing in the back. And behind here, I created a film strip, and uh, I will also show you how I did that in uh, the next video after this. Some journaling on the back here. And uh, here is the last tree tag. And uh, this term I got from Ron. Thank you so much. And uh, here are some images from the paper as well that I got out and used to win this on. And, uh, just a little tag behind here. And place a photo behind this. So it's plain on the back, a little bird, a glossy accent, accent. <laughs> and this is a Tim Holtz bird cage. This is called, it's a, maybe it's a thermometer in English as well, and this is actually working. So it, I thought it was so fun to put in. And uh, this flower I also made from uh, a stamping up oval punch. And um, in the middle here I uh, punched a little strip that I rounded around. Um, that wasn't a good explanation, but um, uh, you cur curl it around like you do with a trim when you created the flower. And um, behind here is another place for photo. And uh, I'm Rose's flowers. Then in the back, another image. This is. Um, Spellbinders die, and uh, I find this so. Uh, they are so intricate and uh, difficult to get out. So um, I will show you the tip how to do that after.
And here's the next page. Here's an image. An Isol Iceland Yule. An island. <laughs> now I have to say it right. An I island Yule. And I put some flower here in her head. Uh, here. And just for journaling on the back. And another little booklet with some fussy cut here. Opens like this. Some tags inside. Just plain. And this is also a um, spellbinder's die. And uh, here's more from that EK Success Butterfly. Punch. And I created a secret pocket behind here with a magnet closer. Just a tag you can place a photo behind here. And uh, I had to put in this uh, little bird cage. I think it's so beautiful. I'm playing on the back. And another tag behind here. So here is another turquoise page. And uh, it's a butterfly clip here. Just plain tag. And uh, this clock is a C6 clock. And another tag behind here. This for some photos here. And uh, memories tag here. And a little Martha Stewart butterfly here pops up. And, uh, here I made a lace out of uh, Cynthia Lu Hu Bling. And uh, it's a tag inside here, and another butterfly. And uh, if you see this shimmer here, it's uh, from. Uh, this dimensional fabric paint, and I got this uh, from Linda. I don't know if you can see the shine of it. It was so fun to use, and um, plain on the back. This is also a C6, no, um, Spellbinders die. And this is the uh, stamp frame and it's a C6 style place for photos and this comes from the paper and um, I used Lindy's on here again and uh, another film strip and a pleated trim and uh, a bow here where I used a cut up an earring I had uh, and I glue it on the center. And the uh, next page here made a flower from the same trim and um, Carla's uh, crystal flower and I used a small flower from the crystal flowers in the center and some trim uh, around. This is a camera with a stand and I uh, crackle painted it and uh, took some small um, punch um, circles to uh, get dimensional here. I don't know if it shows up, but... Yeah. And this is an other camera. And I also took crackle paint inside here. And a little place for photo here. And also crackle paint in uh, the flash light here. 
another film strip from um, from um, C6. Plain in the back. And uh, this is an envelope that goes with uh, this album. And it's cut out from this and this and and the globe is cut out uh, for this album. And another butterfly here. And the film strip from Tim Holtz. And I'm not sure, but I think it's Marianne design, this uh, cutout here. And I have a stamp on the back here. And here's another frame that I took some um, uh, lace or band and uh, yeah, you know, you see it. <laughs> another stamp, stamp frame here and plain on the back. And this I also crackle accents and this stamp frame as well some butterflies. So uh, it's a lot of uh, butterflies in this album. And here this was supposed to be the back page and then I already had uh, created the other ones and um, uh, took them out so that um, they came in, uh, in again. <laughs> There's a magnet behind here, so uh, you see, uh, it's meant to uh, put on s mm, tickets or so from uh, the trip, so uh, you can place memories behind here. But uh, this is a C6 frame. I hope you can see all the glimmer here. <laughs> from the paper line, some lime roses and the seam binding. I also colored with the uh, Lindy's and uh, here is a ticket. I think it's from uh, Maya Road. And this is also cut out from the paper. I'm playing on the back. And uh, behind here some tags. And here as well. And here are flowers from uh, I Am Roses. And I don't know if you can see the tiny small leaves here. I haven't seen them before. Looks like they are so cute. I don't know if they are new or if I haven't seen them before. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having a cold here, so... And uh, here's the next page. I created a and uh, butterflies here and some uh, uh, what do you call this uh, it's not stored but ah. and uh, it's a tag here a butterfly and that was before I started to outline the the lines on the butterflies so um, they doesn't show up so well a little pocket here with a tag inside. And uh, another one with I'm Roses. And this is S10. Yes, and this is a rosebud. And uh, the small leaves here. This is some more notes from the paper. It's just uh, plain. And 
using the same tack here. That's the tack behind here. Hmm. I see here I have to take some more cutouts. <laughs> it's a white line here. <laughs> this is a petal from uh, I'm Roses. And here are some spiders I forgot to take off. <laughs> and another tag here with a butterfly. And here comes some more a children page. I want this uh, to be funny also for children to look in and uh, young people and mother and father. So we start here, and this side here is a photo strip that I cut in two here. Another tag on the top, a ticket, like so. And uh, these are um, some years ago I started to look at uh, YouTube and uh, I found a channel who made um, Punch art. It's uh, stamping up a page and uh, it's really great tutorials there and I will put a link uh, below so you can look. Uh, they had tutorials on how to make this. So this pulls up like so and then this opens like so. Here's a place for some photos. And uh, here is another um, lion. Um, they are made from um, stamping up, uh, up punches, all of them. And um, I put it inside the frame here. So this pulls out. And I made some uh, pockets here. So it can hold a lot of uh, photos. from the paper. I'll put it inside later. And another one. Plain tag with uh, Lindy's. And uh, another image. And it's a tag inside here as well. And here uh, I created a frame, so that's what's holding this. And it's open here, so I can put a picture behind. So this is made from a chipboard, build it up in the end here. And a lot of fussy cutting of uh, the leaves here. It's an ape that he holds a tag here. It's another photo frame. Go, goes behind these leaves here, like so. And a slider here. And uh, more Iamorosus flowers and uh, Martha Stewart butterfly punch. More of the trees. And now this is the back page. So as you see it's really chunky. So it won't stand up <laughs> or if I don't have it in the box. So I've, um, this is a new uh, way to create for me. I never used so much uh, colors before, but it uh, was really fun to do. And 
I think it goes well with a um, family travel mini album for all the family. So it will be fun for all. So I had a bit of a problem to keep the sand inside here, but uh, I have to glue it very well down. I also made this uh, paste from some shell signs behind here. I don't know if it shows up behind here. So uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will make a tutorial and some tips and tricks for uh, how I used some different things in this album in the next video. Bye bye for now. Hello, I'm back again. I forgot to show you this uh, frame. Uh, I created this from leftovers from the papers and uh, I've used uh, almost all the papers now. So this is a 3D frame and uh, I have the dimensionals for how you can create it uh, on my blog. And uh, here is a flower. I uh, looked at uh, Fiona 644 uh, or Jennings 644 her channel name is and uh, I post the link uh, below. She created this flower and I thought it was so beautiful and fun to make. Give you a close up here. And this uh, little bird here is uh, taking some nectar. And, uh, and I have a rose's petal behind and some cutouts from the papers and also this lady I think it's gorgeous and I made, made a skirt for her uh, from some brown paper and put some I'm roses and trim behind here and a little bow and some uh, bling here and this hanger here I got from Angelina. Thank you so much. So uh, just plain on the back here. So I also use uh, Claudine Helmut Multimat. Uh, so uh, it will last. So this is so thin so it can easy tear and some Tim Holtz uh, corner on the top here. So I will also post a link uh, below to uh, uh, the Lindy colors I used for the most and I think they go so well with uh, all the Graphic 45 papers. Thank you so much for watching. Bye again.